at the speed of 80 miles per hour. <laughs> and you know that you are supposed to see Colombia maybe after one hour. But three hours are gone. And you have not seen Colombia. Are you on your way to Kansas? Sure. Are you on your way? No. 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 Praise the name of the living God. Yeah. And then I took Bohemia on my way to heaven. Yeah. There are things I'm supposed to see yeah. as signs, yes. as pointers yes. that I'm on the right direction. Yeah. Praise the name of the living God. Yeah. Hallelujah. So that I can be very sure when I see these signs happening in my life, I believe. Yes. Praise the name of the living God. I will surely know that I am on the right direction. Yes. Praise the name of the living God. Mm -hmm. I told God, I want this word to be a reality in my life. And let me tell you, the Bible to me is not a story. The Bible is a reality. You can take God at his word. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the living God. Yes. I thank God I also joined the church. My first church, maybe I don't know, it's here in America. I know there are a few branches of Crisco Church. Mm -hmm. My first church I joined was Chris, Crisco Church. And I found a very strong foundation of hearing from God and the presence of God. Man, that church in the city center, the, the preacher could not stand until the presence of God has come down. And be sure that God is with me in whatever I want to do. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. May the presence of God be a sure sign for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. But whatever you do, you are going to see the presence of God. Hallelujah. You are going to, to see Jesus. Come on. But we do not look for him in the beginning. Uh -huh. We do not ask him, are you together with me, Lord, as I get into what I want to get into? We seek him when we are in trouble. But he is the Alpha and Omega. When you begin, begin with him. So that at the middle, when you are in trouble, you can tell God, you are together with me in the beginning. You are together with me, even with all these challenges that I am going through. May the presence of God be with you. Yes. And desire to begin. If the Ark of the Covenant was in the house of God, the Lord for only three months, and he was blessed in everything, how much more if you can walk in the presence of God for a year? If you wake up every morning and you tell God, your presence is all that I desire. Yes. Praise the name of the living God. You desire to walk with him day by day. Hallelujah. Remember, he is God together with us. He desires all this journey from the book of Genesis, the journey of the temple, of the tabernacle. Make our abode yes. and live in that person's life. Yes. God wants to live in us as the temple. That means we are going to walk with his presence wherever we go. But you see, as a king, he doesn't go where he is not invited. When a king, like now we know Obama is visiting Kenya in Jura, the preparations are underway. Everything is being set into praise because Obama is coming to Kenya. And Jesus is the king of kings. There must be an invitation. There must be a preparation. Praise the name of the living God. Must start preparing themselves for divine visitation to meet with their maker. Praise the name of the living God. Checking into their you are born in me. Praise the name of the living God. Take it away. I value your presence more than anything else. Forgive me. Let there be cleansing in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. So that your presence will come and abide in my life. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Are we preparing? Do we prepare for the presence of God? For God to come and live in us? Do we prepare a place for Him? Remember your life is a house. Jesus said if a demon left somebody's life. And then the demon would go to the dry places and then say, Let me go back and look for the house I left. And then the demon would come and find the house empty. And the demon would say, I was alone, I was chased out. Let me go and find seven more demons that are wicked, more wicked. That means there are people even when they chase away the devil, they don't allow Jesus to come into their life. They don't allow the presence of God. The house remains empty. And the devil loves empty houses. Praise the name of the living God. He will make a comeback. Because you chased him out, but you did not invite the presence of God in your life. Praise the name of the living God. I declare the presence of God to fill your house uh, in this conference. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Allow the presence of God. Uh, tell God I desire your presence uh, to come and fill my life uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, because when your presence fills my life, uh, I will be able to manifest my potential in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. There is something I have come to understand about the presence of God. The presence of God is beyond words. Yeah. It is beyond what we can see with our eyes. Because it is the presence of the Most High God. But one thing I have discovered, as it was with the 12 sticks and the stick of bread that burned it, the presence of God is able to make things happen. Come on. Amen? Amen. Sometimes I have seen things happening in my life, happening in my ministry. Sometimes people ask me, how do you make it? Because we have, we have been doing a lot of work. Uh, a lot of ministry work. We have built a prayer center. We have a TV. We have a radio. We are building an 8,000 seater cathedral. We have a tent. We have over 10 vehicles of the ministry, lorries and buses. All these things, they have happened within a very short time. And people ask me, how, how do you make it? Where do you get money? We don't have sponsors. We don't have donors. I don't bow for people to give me money. I don't manipulate people to give me money. Praise the name of the living God. But one thing I have discovered is that the presence of God, when it is somewhere, it is able to cause things to happen. In a way, in a way that you cannot be able to explain. Praise the name of the living God. You may not be able to give an explanation. Hallelujah. That this is how I am operating. This is how things are happening in my life. You know, my daughter got a job. My son, this door opened. Some things you may not be able to give. Sometimes you, 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 you feel shy. Even to talk of what God is doing in your life. Because some people work so hard. They do an elephant's work. But they receive an ant thoroughly. Praise the name of the living God. They work so hard. But what comes into their life is so small. But sometimes you do very little. Because sometimes the Bible, the Bible says, in vain you wake up early. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But when the favor of God is upon you, things will just happen. Yeah. I'm not saying we are not supposed to be diligent. I'm not saying we are not supposed to work hard. I work hard, I'm diligent. But let me tell you, there is something beyond working hard. There is something beyond diligence. Praise the name of the living God. Yeah. And let me tell you, we need the presence of God back in America. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Because if the presence of God does not come back in America, you continue working yourself like donkeys, but you have very little to show for it. Yeah. I can tell you for sure. Yeah. Praise the name of the living God. You do an elephant work, but you have an ant salary. You work for 20, 30 years, but nothing to show for it. Praise the name of the living God. Why? Because when the presence of God has departed in your life, when the presence of God has departed somewhere, the men of the city told Elisha, come and see, our city is well situated. It is present. But there is a problem in the city. There is barrenness. Yeah. Praise the name of the living God. Oh, America is present. America is well situated. Praise the name of the living God. But there is a problem. Yeah. Hallelujah. There is a problem. We need the presence of God back in America. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. And then we are going to enjoy our marriages. We are going to enjoy our children. We are going to enjoy the labor of our hands. Praise the name of the living God. We are going to enjoy good health. Praise the name of the living God. We are going to enjoy every moment of our life because the presence of God is together with us. Praise the name of the living God. We invite the presence of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Tomorrow we'll be looking at things that drives away the presence of God. And let me tell you some people and even nations, they are working very hard to drive away the presence of God. Yeah. Working very hard to make sure the presence of God departs. And let me tell you, this is a strategy of the devil. Because when you read Ezekiel 8, after Ezekiel 9, when the presence of God departed, there was destruction in the city. Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. When the presence of God leaves, there will be destruction. Hallelujah. Yeah.
50 years ago. They were not there. But you see, we cannot always have all the scientific ways to give an explanation. Praise the name of the living God. But I have a better explanation for you. The best explanation is when the presence of God leaves. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. There is danger. There is destruction. Even in your life as an individual. The Bible says when God rejected Saul and he departed from him. The Bible says an evil spirit came upon him and started tormenting him. Praise the name of the living God. When the presence of God leaves, you are going to be tormented. You are children, you are hell. Praise the name of the living God. You are going to become food for the devil. He is going to torment you. But as long as the presence of God is upon your life, the devil will not have any room. Let us cherish the presence of God. Let us desire the presence of God. Let us invite the King of Kings in our churches, in our families. Praise the name of the living God. And join there in fellowship and tell God, we know we have sinned against you, but we desire you to be the Lord of our lives. We desire your praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. May the Lord come back around your family. Amen. So that no evil will come near you. The of God is surrounding your life. Praise the name of the living God. May barrenness depart from your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the living God. So that whatever effort you put into your life, maybe in your ministry, maybe in your business, whatever you put your effort into, you are going to see the fruit of your labor. God is going to reward you. Remember when Adam and Eve, they were driven away from the presence of God. They were told you are going to eat with a lot of sweat. You are going to deal the day from the presence of God. But when they were in the presence of God, they were just telling the garden and things were growing by themselves. Things were happening in the garden by themselves because the presence of God was there. Praise the name of the living God. Desire the presence of God in your family. Desire the presence of God in your ministry. Things are going to happen by themselves. Praise the name of the living God. Desire the presence of God upon your life. Things are going to happen by themselves. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because the presence of God is together with you. Hallelujah. Let me finish by saying what I began with. That the conducive environment for man is in the presence of God. Fish don't struggle to swim in water. Man is supposed to live in the presence of God. There are many people who though you may think they are blessed, they don't cherish life. Every moment of their life they feel they want to die. Most of the suicidal cases I have seen and I have even witnessed are people who take away their life. But they reach a point in life where they feel it's not worth it. There is no reason to live. Because as long as you are living outside the presence of God, in fact, if you look at the statistics of death today, they are, uh, the suicidal cases are very high. People are taking away their lives. There is a lot of hopelessness. Because we, we don't enjoy life because of our achievements. We enjoy life because we are where we are supposed to be. Hallelujah. Amen. If you took fish out of water and you gave fish the best food, mm. praise the name of the living God. The fish will not enjoy your food. Right. Praise the name of the living God. Right. Hallelujah. Fish will always enjoy the little only when it's in, it's in a conducive environment in water. I better enjoy the little I have, but I am in the light conducive environment. I am in the presence of God. Amen. I may not have a big house or a big car or a big bank account, but I am enjoying the presence of God. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, you sometimes I, I shout, maybe I'm in the bathroom, I say hallelujah, I laugh alone, and then my wife is asking me, what is happening? I am enjoying life because I am in the presence of God. Praise the 